What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get to the Scrappy World Snail Mount. This is a mount added with Dragonflight, and there really isn't any prerequisites um, that are needed to get it. You just need World Quests unlocked, that's just about it, and it will take around 3 hours of your time. So anyways, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do to be able to farm the items to buy this mount is you have to complete this quest, Chain Shadow of His Wings in the Waking Shores. It's to the east of the Citadel. The quest chain is like, it's like four quests long or something. It doesn't take too much time, so make sure you've done that first. Next step is to go to the Citadel, and if you haven't done this yet, for the week, pledge your allegiance to either Rathion or Spellion. It does not matter who. This will just allow you to farm keys. So once you've done that, find a key farming group in the custom group finder and slaughter the mobs around the Citadel for key framings and key fragments. These are a high drop chance, so you don't have to worry about whether or not they're rare. You just need 3 key framings and 30 key fragments to create a restored obsidian key. So once you've made your first one, turn the one into either Rathion or Sibelion, whoever you pledge your allegiance to, and then go back to farming keys. So now that you've completed the Keys of Loyalty world quest, there are more NPCs that you can turn your keys into. So after you've created your next key, you'll want to head up here, it's just north a bit, to an NPC named Igis the Believer. Now, Igis does not have a reputation tied to them, but you need to turn your key into them anyways to obtain a Twilight Cache. These Twilight Caches will give you around 5 Magmotes, which is actually the item needed to purchase this mount, but they have around a 30% chance to give you a World Breaker membership. So you want to keep turning keys into Igis until you've gotten that membership. So once you use that item, it will give you a 2-day title called the World Breaker. Now with this title, you can go back to killing all the mobs for keys, but they will also drop magmotes for you while you have this title, and you need a thousand magmotes to purchase this mount. There are high drop chance, like every mob you kill will usually drop around two of them, so that's why you want to be in a uh, five person group to kill as many as you can to get a thousand. Now the keys you're farming still, you can go back to turn them into Aegis if you want for around four or five magmotes each, but you'll be getting so many magmotes from killing these mobs that you're probably better off just turning the keys into Rathion or Sibelion or whoever else there for rep. Now with this World Breaker title, um, you don't want to die or you'll lose it. Now if you do lose it, uh, like you do die and you do lose it, it's not really a big deal because you can go into this cave here. Uh, there's an NPC in here named Dealer Vexel and you can purchase another one for 20 magmotes that only becomes sellable once you've gotten your first one from the Twilight Cache mentioned earlier. Now once you've gotten your 1000 magmotes, go to Dealer Vexel and you can purchase your mount, the Slumbering World Snail, otherwise known as Scrappy World Snail. And that's it. It's a, it's a neat looking mount, pretty unique. Uh, it obviously does not fly or dragonfly or anything like that. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this and I will see you all in the next video.